Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another beer from Long Live Beer Works, Providence, Rhode Island. Courtesy of my man Travis. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, this is Through These Eyes. And we just reviewed another Long Live beer, and it was something else about eyes. They're into eyes, apparently. <laughs> these guys like eyes. You guys ever played Eyes, the arcade game? If you haven't, you should. It's a great, it's a great game. Um, this is a pretty label, 8.2% alcohol by volume, a double IPA, Galaxy, Citra, Lup Citra Lupulin Powder, and Raquel Hops. Um, and it was canned on August 17th. So we are, time of recording, about three weeks in the can. Um, just reviewed our first Long Live uh, beer. It was good. Um, I had mentioned that I thought they were using a certain yeast that was kind of not my favorite right now. Didn't mean the beer was bad. Um, so I'm interested to see if this beer is kind of similar to that. Um, we drank, I, I should have reviewed this beer first, I guess. The last one I had was a double dry hopped one. This is just a regular double IPA, but I was kind of going um, oldest beer to freshest with these. So the other one had just a, like an extra week on it. So I drank that one first. So that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, we're using our Answer Glass Joe glass because I love it and it's fun to drink out of. Um, and holy smokes, look at that. I talked about in the last video, this glass, it's tough to pour into because it's so like thin or skinny, like it's a tube and you get massive heads on it. That's two fingers. Um, this beer's a little bit darker than the last one, but it still looks like juice in the glass, right? Um, yeah, two and a half fingers. Like it's kind of an off-white eggshell, but again, with this one, super compact bubbles. You can take a spoon and spoon that right out of that glass. Looks awesome in that glassware. So, um, beers with like lupulin powder, they can get really, really intense. So I'm interested to see what this is like. So shove our nodes in it. This is like super tropical fruity and orange. Like, and there's, it also like immediately reminds me of like a West Coast beer because it's got like this crazy lemon lime like Sprite thing going on. But yeah, it's just, it's tropical. It's, I mean, passion fruity, pineapple-y, um, kind of like that just, I mean, I, I say it a lot. Um, when you, like, you don't know what you're smelling. It's just like a generic kind of a fruity smell. Um, I, I talk about it a lot. Like with, I mean, you would get like juice boxes as a kid. It said fruit punch. Like, what is fruit punch? You don't know, but it smells like that fruit punchy kind of a thing. <laughs> like, you don't know what fruits those are. It just smells like fruit punch. But this def definitely has like a cool, like zesty kind of lemon lime thing. Um, think citrus fruits, like ripe citrus fruits, um, and just tons and tons of like tropical notes. It has a little bit of like that earthy thing as the last beer had. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna taste like that. Um, and it also has this cool kind of like crusty white bread sweetness to it, so. It smells really, really good. Again, over 8%, doesn't smell like booze. It's nuts, I don't know how these guys do that. So let's go and taste it. Travis, cheers, thanks bro. Yeah, so this one's just, it's very similar to the last one. It's gotta be the yeast that they use because it offers like this really intense, if you watched the last review, I'm gonna repeat myself because I literally just drank that beer. It's this crazy, intense, dark, dark, leafy, green chlorophyll thing. Um, and it's fine. Like, it's, I don't mind it, um, but it's just not my favorite right now. Right now, I've, I've mentioned in the last one, if you didn't see the last review, I like really bright, vibrant, like citrusy, tropical fruity. And while you get that with this, mid palate to finish, it just kind of overwhelms with that intense, earthy, dusty, like crazy, crazy, intense green note. And when I say green, I'm talking fucking like my shirt, Brussels sprouts, like Brussels sprouts. If you've ever like steamed Brussels sprouts, or I mean, I cook them in an instant pot, a pressure cooker, and you release the little valve and all the pressure comes out, what you smell is like what I'm tasting in these beers. It's so crazy intense green. It's nuts. But with this one, I mean, you're getting every, like you're getting a lot of what you're smelling. There's like, like that passion fruity, papaya guava kind of juicy thing. A um, little bit of like that citrus fruit, like lemon limey, um, like even a little bit of like pithy grapefruit. But I'm telling you, mid palate to finish, you just get overwhelmed by this crazy intense chlorophyll like green 
thing. Um, and that's basically what you end up tasting because that's how it finishes. Um, I will say this beer is really, really dry. Um, it's easy drinking for over 8%. It's just whatever they're, I don't know. I mean, I just, unless there's like a, like this series of beers, the eye thing where there's eyes on the label and they're using the same kind of, um, like recipe for these beers. This one's much like the last one. It's so fucking intense with those like really, really crazy green vegetable notes that it kind of overpowers everything else. Um, and like I said, it's not that that's a bad thing. It's just not my favorite right now. Um, I, like I said, I'm, it's been a hundred degrees for like the last three weeks. Um, maybe when the weather's cooler and I drink this, I'll be like, fuck, this is what I want. Um, I, like I said, I mentioned in the last review, this is kind of like how the last three or four modern times hoppy beers I've got have been. And they're just, while they're enjoyable beers, they're, I mean, fantastically crafted beers. It's just a preference thing. It's just not my favorite thing right now. Love the mouthfeel of these beers. Carbonation is spot on. Um, I love the fruitiness that you get from it, the citrus notes, but whatever it is that they're using, um, it just kind of takes everything else over. Like I said, not to say it's a bad thing. It's not bad at all. It's a great beer. Um, it's just not my favorite. If that wasn't there and this showcased more of like the tropical fruits and the citrus that you're smelling and tasting up front, I probably would be losing my mind. But um, that kind of mid palate to finish thing where it just gets crazy, crazy intense, it's just, it's that's all you taste. Um, so that's just a preference thing. It's not terrible at all. I, I this beer's good. It's really good. Um, I just when I when I do these reviews, I try and be honest with what I'm tasting and like how I feel about it. Um, so anyone who's watching this, like long live the two beers I've had from them. They've been great beers. Um, they're just like these two beers that I've had right now at this moment in time in September of 2020. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm sure, like I said, we'll progress in the year and I'll get into way more earthy green vegetable type matter with my hops and I'll love it. Um, but I mean, it doesn't make it a bad beer. I mean, these guys are making killer fucking beers. They know what they're doing. Um, you can tell just from the two beers that I've had that these, these guys make great beer. So I, I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Either way, Travis, I appreciate you, bro. I, I'm stoked that you shared these. Um, it's always fun checking out new breweries. So uh, that's Through These Eyes from Long Live. Providence, Rhode Island. If you guys have had this, leave a comment below. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Maybe not. Fuck. Who cares? I'm a douchebag who drinks beer on YouTube. Like, who gives a fuck if you don't know what I'm talking about? And if I'm wrong, it's fine. I, that's, I have no problem with that. So, I'm out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam.